Megan Hicks of I Run Far, and we're here at the starting line of the 2017 Western States 100. I'm with the USA's Camille Heron. Hi, Camille. Wow. You take that sip <laughs> and you get back to me. Congratulations on your win just under three weeks ago at the Comrades Marathon. How are you? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good, especially with a beer in my hand. <laughs> yeah, so we're drinking a high alcohol content beer right now, and I'm a couple sips in, and this is going to get good really quick. What are we drinking? Uh, we're drinking a Rogue Dead Guy L, which is uh, the beer that I like to drink during races. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So yeah, you are just back a couple weeks ago from running and winning the Comrades Marathon. I want to start there. Like that's fresh on your plate. That's fresh on the people who will be viewing uh, this interview's plate. Talk about the Comrades Marathon. Wow. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, it's one of those things that you dream about your whole life. Like, I mean, well, at least for me, I mm. dreamed about it my whole life. I mean, I've known about Comrades since the beginning of my running career in 1995. And to think that, you know, here I'm reading about it in a book and to actually go there and to win it is like, you know, it's very emotional. Mm. It's like just like my whole running career, you know, just reached its pinnacle, you know, and that it's something that hasn't happened in 20 years and um you know for an american to win it and to be one well, of only three that have won it i mean i'm like very emotional about it yeah. very humbled i mean just it's it, it was very 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 special very meaningful to me and mm. um but now i'm here and <laughs> i'm at western states and i'm just like i'm just like really pumped up for that too i know you're kind of hitting um you know like some of the big hitting races like back to back to back here maybe not taking it easy sitting on the couch this summer huh <laughs> yeah uh Definitely. I mean, I, I really had some goals that I wanted to aim high for and, um, you know, got through comrades and getting through Western states now. And then after that, it's just we're just going to keep riding the, the fun parade. And <laughs> the fun parade. Um, so let's talk about your your actual like physical transition from comrades to here um, in your in your race report, which we published on Iron Fart earlier this week. You talked about it being an imperfect day for you. You kind of had to um, manage your hands hamstrings. Um, mm -hmm. How has your physical recovery gone transitioning from that to now this? Yeah, I've felt really good. Okay. I have been eating a lot of burgers and tacos <laughs> and drinking beer and okay. sleeping like 12 hours a day. And um, I had to get over the jet lag from South Africa. So that took about a week. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I coming from a marathoning background where I ran a lot of marathons back to back like in a short time you know I'm used to recovering fast and mm -hmm. and when I've done two races within a short time window together I always bounce back and feel better on the second race and so it's almost like the first race was kind of like the warm-up for the second race and I end up feeling better and I've just kind of been like a bouncy ball the past okay. like <laughs> the past couple of days I've just kind of been bouncing off the walls and my husband says I look very springy when I run okay so uh, you know sounds just good <laughs> definitely um, 100 miles is a long way and this is your first <laughs> attempt at running 100 miles I think the longest you've gone before is 100k at the Rock 100k yeah yeah, or, and longest distance and longest time out, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've done a couple hundred Ks, but, you know, the next step up is 100 miles, so it's not like I've done anything further than that. Right. But, um, but yeah, no, I mean, I, I feel like I... I feel like I've done a couple hundred Ks now and I've finished feeling like mentally I could wrap my head around going an extra going further. 38 miles or whatever. Uh, so, so yeah, so I feel like, like, you know, I've just got to like maybe back off a little bit, but like still, you know, keep that just smooth, like, you know, just taking it all in, taking the whole day in, you know, enjoy the, enjoy yeah. the moment. I mean, I felt like at Comrades, like, I just really enjoyed the moment. Like I, it was so much energy for so long. I mean, you don't get to experience that anywhere. Yeah. And coming here, you know, all the feedback that I've gotten from everybody is it's like the ultimate trail running experience. Like everybody is just so into it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm just gonna like take that energy and like use it to keep me going, so. Um, so you are known for your um, fast starts. <laughs> um, this is 100 miles, so this is a, a little under 40 miles further than you've ever run before. And mm -hmm. 
you know, a number of hours longer than you've run. Um, is there going to be any tempering your fast starts because you, you are running so far into unknown territory? Yeah, you know, um, I, 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 I seem to get the hint when I ran Terra Wera. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you seem Every, to get what hint? <laughs> that everybody thought I was going to go out hard. Okay. And I thought, well, I'm just going to do the opposite of that. I'm okay. just going to make sure I'm really chill at the beginning. And so I kind of mentally <laughs> had prepared myself to like hit you know 40 50 miles when we open up from the technical section and uh, to just drop the hammer and just okay. start really running and so like I feel like coming in here I've got to have that same temperament you know whether I you know could get 60 something miles at Forest Hill and then you know hit that point and just finally like you know just shoot it you know down downhill for that last 30 something miles but yeah I, <clears throat> I've got a really good pacer as well and um, Caroline Bowler is going to pace me mm. and so um, which where is she pacing you from and to from Forest Hill uh, all the way to the finish oh wow yeah she quite was, a pacer I know I was like wow I'm really impressed like she <laughs> wants to go the whole distance so cool uh, yeah I talked to her on the phone a couple days ago and she's really fired up about it and so I felt like her energy will be really good for me at that point and so I think it's going to be a really really good matchup for us to run together so cool yeah. um I want to ask you a little bit about nutrition like nutrition is something that you wrote about in your comrades report that staying on top of your water and nutrition is what kept you feeling good all the way through the the last kind of digger climb going up poly shorts what is your nutrition plan for western states are you changing it are you just gonna keep doing what's working for you i yeah i mean i think it's important to stick with what works for you but then also to have a, a bag of tricks of other things that you might want during a race and so um, we've kind of made a checklist of things and my husband's going to be really prepared um, you know obviously we figured out by accident the whole beer thing <laughs> that we just happen to have a six pack at a, a race we just happen to have some beer here <laughs> so so yeah I mean it's just like you know what whatever your body's feeling you hope you have it on hand you know if you want to diversify what you're wanting but but yeah I mean I'm I'm a beer and bacon person <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you know it's like beer and bacon for Camille <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if you're craving bacon when it's 105 degrees in the canyons right I, I mean I've done some long runs you know in Oklahoma where I'm like I can't wait to get home and eat some beer and bacon <laughs> or, yeah know? yeah I want to ask you about trails like some people say that you know you are still new into running sort of the mountain trail running aspect of things big climbs big descents technical trails um, at this point you've now done some races on trails you did Lake Sonoma Chuckanut Tarawira which has um, you know some good trail sections especially mm -hmm. in its first half and last year you won the UROC 100k which mm -hmm. now UROC has moved back to Virginia but last year it was held on some of the same trails that so you're going to be running on um, this weekend. Can you talk about sort of where you feel you are with your adaptation to um, to to trail running? Yeah, yeah. And um, well, obviously, I, I've had a lot of injuries the past year. You know, going back to my debut at Lake Sonoma, and so I I feel like some of the races that I have done haven't been representative of what I'm capable of just because of injuries. But you know, for the races that I have done well at, like U Rock and White River and Terrawera, you know, I felt like I've gotten a diverse amount of courses now sure. that I feel like I could pretty much handle just about anything. Um, obviously, I haven't been to Europe. <laughs> on the, on the Let's see about that one. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, I, 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 it's for me, it's just fun. I mean, it's fun to like, you know, go to different parts of the country and the world and to run on different terrain. And so I've, I mean, I've really enjoyed it, you know, when I've had moments where I've had to like, you know, whether jump over trees or go under trees or, you know, fall off the edge or, I mean, I, I feel like I've just kind of taken it in stride with whatever challenges come mm -hmm. at me. But, uh, but yeah, you're talking about UROC. Um, so UROC was on some of these trails and uh, I went to a trail run um, two days ago and did the, the finish all the way to No Hands Bridge and, oh, okay. then, and then came back. Oh, good. And I mean, it was like, it was it was really I was about to cry because it was it felt so good it mm -hmm. felt so good to get back on that hard packed dirt okay and uh, I mean UROC was probably my best trial performance today and I feel like 
I don't know. It's just something about like the 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 mm. terrain and the the hard packed dirt is kind of okay. like it's probably more like road almost. At least that that section um, where it's like the hard packed dirt stuff. Now I haven't obviously seen the whole course yeah. here yet. The muddy, <laughs> snowy, wet stuff in the first ten miles. Some of those deep canyons in the middle of the race. So so yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like I'm someone that has a very level head and like you know whatever challenges I'm encountering i mean i almost like have moments where i'm like laughing because it could it can be kind of ridiculous sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i think you're gonna see a little bit of ridiculous on saturday not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean we, we we lived in indiana for four years and i mean i, I was used to running through a foot of snow yeah, and you yeah. know uh, so so yeah it's not like i haven't ever encountered snow before i mean it's something i've seen and been through for four years i mean 100 weeks you know going through snow and uh but but yeah, I mean, this is my debut, obviously, and um, people probably think I'm a bit of a gamble, you know, being first time 100 miler, first time on this course. But at the same time, I mean, I I feel like I just got to give it a shot. Yep. Like, I just got to go with the flow of my body and with the course and just take all that energy and just use it to propel me. So, so yeah. Cool. Feel good. <laughs> my last question for you. The women's sure. race is, is just really something else this year. In my mind, there mm -hmm. are five women who can win the race, mm -hmm. and there are probably 12 women who can be on the podium mm -hmm. come Saturday evening. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool setup because they're not only fast women, but diverse skill set women who yeah. you're about to race. What are you looking forward to in terms of the women's race and the women you'll be with on the weekend? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just just try to get in my happy place, and okay. uh, I mean every every ultra I've done, I really just try to find my groove, and you know you just try to mesh with with your being in the moment and being in the surroundings, and you know, and for me, I like I know that they they interviewed like me and Charnay for my team, you know, because we were contenders for the win, right. and we both we both had the same kind of strategy that we we were both focused on ourself and our own eternal okay. effort, and so you know, I mean, that's kind of been my mindset with every ultra that I've done. I've just really been focused on, uh, you know, I train by heart rate a lot, so I've kind of have an idea of what effort and what heart rate that corresponds to and um, it was really cool because I actually have heart rate data from comrades uh, like especially the climb mm -hmm. like it was really cool to see that you know I had such a good sense of you know climbing and staying staying in the right heart rate yeah mm -hmm. yeah and so I feel like you know that I have a really good sense of effort and I feel like I've just got to hone in on that and just focus on myself and get the most out of myself and I feel like if we if each of us does that that you know it's going to be a really cool race. You're all going to have your own best races. <laughs> yeah exactly like I think we've all got to focus on having our own best race and be in the moment and you know uh, heaven forbid anything tragic or you know the unforeseeable happens to any of us but you know I feel like we're all in this together and we've all got to enjoy the moment and just take it all in all that all that positive energy out there so I think that's good advice not only for the the female contenders but for the entire field this weekend so mm -hmm. cheers to that mm -hmm. cheers to everybody racing western states this weekend and good luck to you thank you the 2017 thank you. western states cool